What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash. Today is August 11th of 2017. So as you all know, if you watch my channel by now, you probably understand that I love getting feedback in the comments below on my videos and in my live streams about what coin or token I should cover next on my channel. That being said, I think it's kind of standard procedure now that everyone understands ICOs are the big topic right now. And this one in particular has been requested pretty highly. I've gotten it requested in the, uh, the comments of my videos. I've gotten reached out to people through my polls on my live stream and even have gotten messages from people who are my personal Patreons for this channel to cover this specific token. That being said, what's the coin we're talking about today? It is no other than the status token. So this is an ERC-20 token. It's tied with the Ethereum blockchain. So what exactly is status? You know, what is it objectively trying to do? And, you know, is it worth the valuation that it's at? Is it going to go higher? You know, what's the team looking like? What's the tech looking like? Uh, we're going to try and answer as much of that as we can and talk about the philosophical part of why this token is important and valuable. And we're also going to look, as always, first and foremost at the numbers. So let's go ahead and look at status's numbers. First off, we can see that there's a market cap of almost a, uh, well over a quarter of a billion dollars, sitting around $267 million. Very decent valuation for a coin and one of the top ranking ones. We've also got a nice steady amount of volume for the market cap sitting around $58 million. And this is uh, you know, about a month and a half after its ICO from back in June. So this is pretty impressive. It seems like there's some volume coming back into this. Uh, and right now we can see the circulating supply is sitting uh, pretty much about half of the total supply. So if the total supply remains where it's at, um, uh, I'm relatively optimistic 6.8 billion is not that bad of a level. However, that being said, let's go into looking at the philosophy behind the coin, the tech, and what it's aiming to be. That being said, Status is pretty much trying to be a mobile Ethereum OS. It's trying to be a way that we can uh, interact with the Ethereum blockchain and all of its connecting technologies on mobile devices. Now you can go ahead and download uh, the Status app and you can start using it. Uh, however, Status is, uh, it's kind of interesting. It's not one specific tailored feature or app. Like I said, it's a way to branch out and connect to a lot of different Ethereum pieces, uh, pieces of Ethereum technology. Uh, the main one being though, as you can see on the screen, is a uh, encrypted private message app. Um, and this is built in the core of status, basically where you can send messages, you can send smart contracts, transfer cryptocurrencies or uh, Ethereum tokens across the, uh, the message app. So it's pretty cool to um, see that they're at least trying to bring it to a mobile platform. I think this is extremely important because I think that mobile, whether we like it or not, I know a lot of us uh, crypto bugs are kind of stuck to our computers and laptops many people in the world are switching over to mobile. It's just a common trend. So I think it's a smart um, smart market to go after. So you can see basically here, send, receive, and store Ether. You can do it over the application. Um, you could also browse decentralized apps. And uh, we're gonna look at a list of some of them down below. Uh, and one of the nice things too is you can buy and sell Ether locally. Um, you can you know use it to exchange for goods and services and use it as a means of exchange in general. So. I think that it, this is kind of cool, uh, and what, I think the thing that really makes it stand out is the fact that it branches out to so many different Ether, uh, Ethereum platforms. Um, biggest ones I, I'm, I'm seeing right now are uh, Gnosis and Ethlance and uh, Argon, and outside of that, there's some cool things as well. Ujo, I, I had never read about before, which is pretty much a creative platform for content creators to uh, post their content on, and it's based off the Ethereum blockchain. So I think that. You know, there's some really cool stuff here, guys, and I think that there's going to be even more coming into development that's going to give its platform more reason to be adopted. That all being said, uh, I, I'm going to let you all know right off the bat, if you go here to their website and scroll down, uh, the team doesn't provide much uh, you know, information. They have their first names and their positions, so I can't really look into the status team. Um, so that's a worry of mine. However, it seems like they've got a nice uh, dedicated amount of team members and they're also hiring new jobs uh, or posting new jobs to hire people. So it seems like they're an active team and they're looking to get developers on, on point. And it seems like they've got a functioning piece of technology that you can go ahead and download. So I'm not too worried about it. That being said, the one thing I'm really worried about is, as always, a lot of you guys ask in my videos sometimes, I'll talk about the technology that's tied with the token, uh, the or usually it's an Ethereum ERC-20 token. Um, however, 
the biggest problem with a lot of these pieces of technology is, you know, what is it going to be used for? What's the token getting value out of? The status platform seems really cool, and it will continue to expand uh, so long as people adopt Ethereum-based technology. However, what is going to give the Ethereum token value? Well, there's a few here uh, that uh, were kind of listed after the ICO to give people a little bit of reassurance. However, to me, it just seems relatively thin, I'm gonna say right off the bat in my opinion. That being said, we can go through and read some of them. So purchase access to services like push notifications. You know, a good way we could do that is, for example, with my mobile, um, for example, how I have a Telegram group and I send you guys messages, I could, uh, you know, I could set it so you have to purchase the push notifications. Don't worry, I'm not doing that. But I mean, that's a way that you could use it. So I think that it could be used in that sense. Um, registering a username on, on one of the networks on one of the applications. Vote in protocol decisions and a liquid democracy, so you can make voting decisions on certain platforms using uh, stat uh, status, where people use uh, the status network to connect to those Ethereum uh, platforms. And then we can also do, uh, you know, token-based group chats. Uh, I'm trying to see. There was one that, yeah, the last one is really what kind of stands out to me is participation in the status sticker market. Um, that being said, guys, that's really all there is right now. Um, now the sticker market, as much as people say, oh, it's you know it's a growing industry and you know there's money being made in it, it's not enough to make a a, a massive currency at least at the valuation that it's at in my opinion. Um, so I really want to see this continue to be adopted, and I want to see developers find ways to make use of this token because it's sitting at a pretty high valuation where it's at right now. Two hundred sixty-seven million dollars is huge. The tech is there. The tech is exciting, but. The use for the token, I just, I don't see it yet. Uh, that being said, we have seen some pretty drastic uh, price action since, uh, you know, we saw actually a few days ago back in the, towards the end of July. And I remember watching this and uh, waiting to see if it was going to make another move. But it seems like it's kind of pulled back and it looks like from the uh, trend of volume here, we even go to the weekly here. We can see that the volume is, uh, it's kind of holding up. It's holding the majority of its price action. So I think this one could be a winner, um, at least for a swing trade. That being said, I, guys, I'll tell you right now, usually I'm very optimistic. I think that, that that status has a lot of great technology. I've tried looking deep into it and really understanding the power and implementation of it. I like the fact that it's taking on mobile technology. However, I gotta say right now, I can't get behind this coin in the sense of putting my own money up towards it. That being said, I'd love to hear what you all think about status. I'd love to hear what you all think, the ambitions of it, could entail to in the future. Do you think that Status is gonna become the main platform to bring Ethereum towards a mass audience? I think it could possibly do that. I just need to see more adoption, but I'd love to hear what you all think. And if you guys have a coin or token you wanna see covered, leave a comment down below. I love the feedback. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.